Shapes That Tessel Ate Written by Renee Jackson and illustrated by Sarah Jackson Tessellate, verb 3. Math Of plain figures of a single shape To fill a specified region completely Without leaving gaps In a manner analogous to the covering of a surface by tiles Also to divide a region into such figures Oxford English Dictionary, 1993 once there was a little fellow named Tessel. Tessel was a regular shapely fellow who ate regular shapely shapes. Tessel ate triangles. Tessel ate squares. Tessel ate hexagons. Nom 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 nom. Some shapes Tessel could not eat. Tessel could not eat circles, for instance. Tessel could not eat pentagons. Knowing this, do you think we could say that Tessel ate octagons? The answer is... Only if they are sandwiched with squares. Explanation Why can Tessel only eat octagons if they are sandwiched with squares? First of all, try and tessellate a page of octagons. Remember, octagons are shapes with eight equal sides. You will soon see that you can't perfectly tessellate octagons. They always leave a square-shaped hole, or, like the example above, a diamond-shaped hole, which is just a square turned on its side. The pattern goes back and forth between octagons and squares, Another way of saying it is that the octagons are sandwiched by the little squares, like having a big piece of octagon-shaped cheese that hangs out over the sides of two square pieces of bread. Hence our friend Tessel's little sandwich. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids. <laughs>